Today I'm going to show you a tool that I developed in Autodesk Inventor that allows me to peel back the skin on a 3D shipping container model so that I can design stuff inside and see how the stuff I'm designing interacts with the container itself. If you stick around, I'll show you how it works. So, how this works. First thing, I wrote some iLogic code within Inventor that helps this function. And then I have a control form right here that I built. So, this right here is going to be my wood shop. And I needed to see how everything interacts with the skin. This is gonna be very tight and I need to know, you know, how much, how I'm gonna pack everything in here. So what I've developed is a tool that will peel back the skin of the container so I can see what I'm doing inside. This is gonna have walls, it's gonna be heated, it's gonna have hatches in the back so that wood can extra long wood can pass through. It's going to have a lot of details in a tiny little space. So I need a way to see how everything interacts. And this is what I came up with. So I can do this. That was a top and this is all, all the sides are based on the inventor view cube. So if I click on right, it's going to show me dead, right. And now my tool for the right will peel back the right side. And I just have sliders on here. I can, uh, if, I, if I needed to see something exact, I got, got it on 58 right now, let's say 62 inches. I can go exactly by typing it in, pressing enter. So this is what I'll be using to design all of my shipping container projects. I, we have two projects right now. We have a Haymow, or actually they're both Haymows. The North Haymow is going to get another container that will be half storage and half tack room. And then there'll be a roof over the two containers for a run-in for the horses in inclement weather. The other container has a feeder for the winter. I've explained that in, in other videos. Look at the Franken feeder video if you want to see it. But that needs some welding and stuff. So I'm going to be hooking up a welder and learning how to weld real soon. So that's going to have to wait for that. But back to this project. Um, so this is this is what it is and I can use two of the controls at once or I can use actually use all of them but it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So one of the really tight things is the dust collection. I have two different dust collectors. I have a big Oneida uh, cyclone collector which would likely fit inside but I would have to put a, a shortened drum underneath it because of how tight it is in here. It's possible. I'll have to measure things out. If I can get a full 55 gallon drum inside, I might do that. But on the outside, the thing is galvanized, but the motor is not waterproof. So I would have to build some kind of a, a structure over the top of it that doesn't overheat in the summer and, and isn't going to allow the motor to be damaged by moisture. But that would be ideal to have an outdoor one and just have a pipe run through right here and run down the center on the inside. Let's look inside here. The pipe would come in, it would have to come in under this structure here. 
we'll call it a header for lack of a better term, would have to come in under that because that's a structural member. So already it's it's down a little lower than I'd like it, but if I get a high cube container, then it's just fine, but I would have to make another tool. But it's, it's more likely that I'll just get a standard 20 foot container, so we'll deal with it. So my pipe would come through just under this and then I would have to weld in some supports for it. And I'm thinking it would have to come nearly to the front because when I'm working with the table saw, I will likely have to jog the table saw up to the front or the table saw will likely remain up in the front and turn sideways up against the wall. And then when I'm planing, I would move it to this side, do planing. It's a lot of jogging around, but if you don't have a building for it, it's the way to do it. And then at some point, I would probably convert this to a, uh, another use. Because I do plan on having a full workshop at some point. It's just, the money is just not there for it right now. So this is what I'll do. So that's my shipping container tool. I don't have all of it hooked up yet. It doesn't uh, work from the front or back yet, but you know, it's easy enough for me to complete the tool. The harder part right now is I got to get these modeled fairly accurately so I can check clearances and all that stuff. So if you want to see the progress on this, Subscribe to our channel and then click on the update icon, the little bell, and you'll receive notification when we upload new videos. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and have yourself a great day.